On this super quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can make an audio spectrum react video in Spectre in seconds. This is by far my favorite site and platform to do this. Here's what we're gonna do. First off, click new video, of course. Here are all the main presets. You know, there's a bunch of them, as you can see. I'm just gonna do the basic default one, right? Just to make it super simple. Click select. Now this is the first thing that's gonna load. As you can see right here, we have a setup wizard. I actually think this is better to uncheck this. I actually like this layout a bit better. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to audio, upload my song. So I'm gonna pick my song Catalina Island. As you can see, what's gonna happen is it's gonna upload the audio super, super quick. And then it's also gonna analyze it. So what's cool is in real time, you know, as I'm making this video, it's analyzing the audio and the spectrum is gonna dance or move to the music. I've also done a bunch of surveys and it turns out people are way more likely to watch your videos if there's something dancing along with the music than if it's just a static image. So if I play it now, right? So already we have stuff going on, but let's customize it. Now I already did the preset. Next is the logo. So I can use, you know, one of their default ones here, but of course I'm gonna upload my own logo. So I'll just go here and this is my main logo for my music. I have that right there. Then I have background. Now you can pick either an image or a video. So let's say if I want, you know, I mean, this is more of like a tropical song. So let's say, actually this one would be kind of perfect, right? So if I have this, now I'm gonna customize this a little bit more. You know, I could pick maybe a static image. You know, I wonder if that'd be better. And also it depends on what you want. Like this is actually kind of cool. I kind of like that for like this particular song, right? So I have this. Next, I have artist name and track name. I'm just gonna type in uh, the song name. I actually like the song name being first. So Catalina Island and the track name. I'm, so I'm gonna switch these up a little bit. I kind of like the look of that better. At this point, that's it actually. If I want to like say export this out right now, that's it. That's how easy it is to make it. Now I am gonna customize things a little bit more. I'll show you how. Going to audio, I'm gonna go kind of down the line here. I'm gonna do the whole song. If Lexi wanna do a snippet of it, you can. But let's go to the visualizer. Let's say I wanna customize this a little bit more. If I go to shape, I have two different visualizers. One is my logo. The second is this. So it depends. You don't even have to upload your logo if you don't want to. There are a lot of customization features when it comes to the spectrum. I could go really in depth on this, but I wanna make this a very beginner's friendly video. I can adjust a lot of things here. Let's say if I wanna have it be, you know, two sides here like that. A unique little combo here, you know, um, if I want to have this, have some like fire to it, for example, there's a lot of little things I can do. Again, I'm just scraping the surface here though. I am going to go back to the logo one. I think in this case, I like my logo being right there. Then I'm going to go to backdrop. Now, as you can see, the backdrop moves when it comes to this particular preset. Because this is a tropical house record, I'm going to turn the movement off. So now it's like this. Then we have filter, and as you can see, it's kind of the black edges around the outside that move with it. I'm gonna turn this off, so it's like this now. Now, of course, this all depends on what you want. I actually find, again, this is more of like a personal thing, having the background move with it, I feel like it's more of like a dubstep bass thing. I don't know if that makes sense, because it's like hitting hard. With a lighter song like this one, I actually feel like it kind of takes away from the song, because it's meant to be like a relaxing, chill, tropical record. Next, I'm gonna to go to text. I can leave this as is. I can customize the text in terms of different fonts. The color, like say if I want it to be, you know, yellow or something like that, I can mix it up however I want. Next is lyrics. If I wanna add in lyrics, I can do that. And then lastly, elements, we have particles and the like and subscribe animation. So I can do this if I wanna turn them off and just have that. And by having the particles on, there's a couple of ways I can customize this. I'm gonna turn off speed shift, bouncing like before. And then addition, I might do, yeah, I kind of like them coming out. I can also adjust the spawn rate. So like if I want a ton of particles or not that many. In this case, I kind of like the ambiance of this. And then they have the like and subscribe animation. They've done studies on this and this is true. They find that when you have a like and subscribe animation, probably not surprising, people are more likely to like and subscribe. So if I click this, and as you can see, we have this cool animation there. I can adjust the position if I want to be in different parts of the video. But that's it. Now, once I'm done, all I'm gonna do is click export video. That easy.